Dondo Beach, California. Uh, checking out a couple of awesome bulls bikes, okay? I've already done some work over here on the Monster ES, S standing for suspension. It's a hardtail and it's electric. This one over here, I mean, this thing is crazy. It's the EFS because it has full suspension. There's not like a whole lot of difference from there. You know, we still got an awesome RockShox Bluto. Of course, we got the 15 millimeter through axle, the big tires, love these Schwabi Jumbo Gyms, 26 by four. Um, I was doing some riding and of course it says five to 30 PSI, so lower when you're on the sand or snow, that kind of thing. Remote lockout on this. And we were going down on the, on the concrete to get here, like cruising all the way from up in those hills. It worked great on the street. Awesome hydraulic disc brakes. We've got the Maguras here. And in the front, we've got four pistons. In the back, we've got two pistons. Also quick release though, with a 12 millimeter through axle. So both of these are really stiff. They feel great. Even at speed, this bike felt comfortable. You know, it was, it was kind of like riding a little moped or motorcycle or something like that. So love that. And I'm just a huge fan of the suspension. Of course it does weigh more. You're getting into that like 60 pound range. The bike comes in a number of sizes, which is pretty cool. So you can find one that fits you, but I love the sloping top tube. I love the adjustability. Back here, we've got the RockShox Monarch looks awesome and just the color on this when we were riding on the street i was like i, I kind of want to be on that one i mean you feel a little bit safer because it's like a bumblebee pattern or maybe a wasp or something and i love that the rock shocks match it and just the whole thing really tight really clean um, up here sully royale m1 saddle and then the drivetrain we're looking at a single sprocket up front 15 teeth and then back here i think it's 11 to 40 11 chain rings in the back shimano dior xt you can see that it's tipped a little bit we got a little bit sandy have to use solo cups to prop them up because there's no kickstand on these you know what do you it's a full suspension off-road bike so a lot of times they don't have kickstands but that's something i'm always like oh it'd be nice if it did even if it did though a lot of times the kickstands poke into the sand and it tips anyway so you just want to be careful and if you do go to the beach maybe clean it up afterwards like just rinse it a little bit Okay, so other things that I like about this bike is just kind of the, the geometry, the way they've laid it out. They've got that like four link suspension back here and then they've raised the chain with a little tensioner. The tensioner has a bit of a cover on top so it keeps the chain from bucking too much and it's a narrow wide pattern. So there's, you're not gonna get slipping. It just, it grabs that chain really nicely regardless of what's happening back here with the suspension. So that's awesome. Just really nice to keep things in check. And we've got a little bit of a oversized chain ring um, bash guard thing up front, but you really don't need it for protection the way you would with a traditional bash guard because it doesn't extend below the motor casing. You can see there's this nice aluminum plate, pretty custom. This is something that Bulls does really well. The, the Bosch motors, it's just kind of almost concealed back here. And then the big protective parts, there's like some plastic here and then some aluminum there. I feel like they do a good job. This is of course the famed Bosch Performance CX motor, 350 watt nominal output, 75 newton meters of torque, and one of the zippier motors that I've ridden with. It really feels like electric. It, you know, as soon as you're pedaling, it's measuring the torque, uh, wheel speed, your cadence, all of that, like 2,000 times a second. And it's, it's a lot of numbers or whatever, but the experience is one of like, ring, ring, like you, you feel it. Um, whereas some of the other systems, it's, it's a little bit smoother, it's a little bit more subtle, and I guess it's a preference thing. I mean, you get four levels of assist on this. You can choose the one that you prefer. I just, I always feel like I'm getting support and it's really easy to hit that 20 mile per hour top speed. So if you're trying to get somewhere faster, I, I really like this system. And I'm usually testing in the highest level of assist. So keep that in mind. The lower ones are pretty subtle. Battery is locking, it is removable. You can charge it on or off the bike and you can see right there, there's a little flap that comes open. Real easy to take that battery off and maybe even have two batteries versus taking it out of the down tube or something else. It's, it's just takes more time and stuff. It's a little bit more visible and you know, it takes up space in that triangle that might otherwise go towards a bottle cage or something like that. There's no water bottle cage here, unfortunately, but you know, it's the Bosch design. I feel like they've done a decent job. And this one says Power Pack 400, but it's actually gonna ship with a Power Pack 500. Okay, so that's like 36 volt, 13.4 amp hours, enormous range on these. And they say something like 130 miles. Um, yeah, that depends on what level of assist you're on. Of course, the lower ones, how much you're pedaling, whether you, you know, coming down or up huge hills like we just did or riding in the sand or snow. Um, 
I want to take a minute to be like, pick up your trash, people. I feel like what's happening here is it's just a windy day and we have an overflowing garbage can. So, you know, it's just such a beautiful place here. You got the, the gulls like hanging out, coasting around, being able to ride bikes here, not worry about parking and actually maybe cut across the beach and have a picnic. It's just, it's fantastic. So anyway, coming back to this, um, the, the prices on these are, it's about a thousand dollars apart. So this one's $52.99 and it comes with the 500 watt hour battery pack we were talking about. You get that great range. Um, you know, I feel like that's a decent price back here. This one's $42.99 with the 400 watt hour battery pack. You can pay more like $57.99 or something and you get the 500 watt on that one. But that's just, that's the difference. If you're someone who's like, why is this a thousand dollars more? Well, you're getting the suspension, you're getting the higher end battery pack and some nicer braking hardware and stuff. But otherwise, both of these are awesome fat bikes. I've had a lot of fun on them and they just, they give you the range. They give you the unsprung weight. You know, I'm aware, of course, there's like, rad rovers and there's you know the volt bikes and things with the hub motors but you know they don't have the full suspension like this and then the weights in a hub motor you're not able to leverage your cassette and actually empower the motor the way that you are with this it's a trade-off i mean this is a really cool experience um i've had a lot of fun with it but it's a lot of money you know you kind of you, you make your you call your shots i guess and just again if you spend a lot of money on a bike like this just rinse it off try to keep all the hardware good this is an aluminum frame shouldn't be a huge deal um, in terms of rust on that. And of course, with cassettes and stuff, you can replace some of this hardware. So it's it's a durable thing. Okay, so how do you get these going? It's pretty simple. There's a power button right here on the Intuvia display panel. You press it, it comes to life with some different options we're gonna go through. I love that the displays are removable, especially on mountain bikes, because sometimes you're riding in an environment that's just not real friendly. Maybe you're going down a huge hill and you're not sure you're gonna fall or not. Maybe it's a really snowy day and you're taking on a new path and you can pop that display off, put it in your pocket, no problem, pop it back on, and this is how fast it turns on. Okay, we're off right now, and we're on. That's it, it's like that fast, I love that. It is backlit, so you kinda got like a light button right here. Some Bosch powered bikes have actual integrated lights, but this one, you know, doesn't. It's just a trail bike. We got our speed in the middle, we've got our battery level indicator with five bars, and then down here at the bottom, all kinds of informational readouts. You can press the I here or over here on the remote button pad. So I'm gonna go through our max speed coming down all those hills and stuff was like 34.3 miles per hour. Average speed, 10 miles, trip time, range. So it's estimating right now that we could go 26 miles and we're in turbo mode. That's like full power, that's awesome. And this isn't even the 500 watt hour battery pack. So like I was saying, I mean, I'd expect 40 plus miles. Um, now we're gonna arrow down to Eco and it's estimating 86. Like it's just, it's really cool to have that feedback and it does take into account the last five miles of riding and like, okay, well, based on that riding, what's the future look like? And it's, it's very dynamic, really cool. There's also a little USB charging port on the side here, micro USB. I don't think it puts out a lot of volts, maybe like five volts or something. It's, it's not, it's not enough to like charge devices, but it does maintain them. You can have your cell phone mounted on the bars and I love that. Okay, so we've gone through the different level of assists, a couple other readouts here, odometer, trip distance, and clock. I think that's about it. I mean, that's the bike. Love the ergon locking grips, you know, just a nice little extra touch. A lot of high-end components on this bike that are taken from like mountain bikes and stuff that you're actually riding in pretty technical terrain. The beach isn't exactly technical, but you do want to be able to balance. Being able to shift smoothly is nice and quickly, keeping that chain on track and just, you know, that balance. I feel like this bike really delivers. There aren't very many full suspension electric bikes at all, especially ones with mid drives. And, you know, High Bike has had a couple of, um, I think like the Fully Fat Six or whatever. It's cool, but it uses the Yamaha system. And I just don't like that one as much. Usually I, I have a sensitive knee and I prefer to spin at a higher RPM. So my knee isn't being overworked and Bosch totally lets me do that. And it get, feels like it's giving me more power. So I like this bike a lot. I really like the Bosch. I'm so glad to see like Bosch on a full suspension fat bike. Um, my back and neck get sore. And when you're going over all these footprints and bumps and stuff, you know, yeah, having suspension really makes a difference. No offense, hardtail bike, you're still good. That's a good one if you put a rack on it, but this is this is the fun one. This is the awesome toy. Oh yeah. Nice track stand. Bike route. Let's go all the way straight to the beach, right? Okay, cool. Now we're just gonna head on down to the beach.
coast faster than me because he weighs more. I can get real aero and get that speed up. Oh yeah. Stop sign. Loving it. 180s. Hydraulic. We upgraded to Magura this year. Working pretty well. And there's the beach. Be nice if they had a, a bike lane here. Look at that sunset. Hey, thanks. He's warning me about the spike strips. <laughs> you don't want to hit those with a fat bike. Oh yeah. Look at that surfing going on. Beautiful. Okay, dude. I want to just take it out in the sand. Do you think this is an okay place to try? Sure, yeah, lead on. But I'm gonna have to significantly lower the air pressure to do sand. Really? Yep, a lot. Like most of it. How would I do that? Oh, I have one. Yeah. I'll try to do it now. Okay, this is super soft sand. I'm gonna try to ride it, see what happens. Got the Bosch CX. Getting a lot of sand getting kicked up into my shoes. I'm making it. Oh boy, it does. Yeah, it does make a big difference. That made it, you know, not going super fast. Yep, this is, this is like the full on test, dude. So I just tested it with the tires relatively full. I'm not sure how full, but a lot of times they say like five to 30 PSI. I'm gonna go ahead and take it down a little bit. Yeah, this is five to 30 PSI. Yeah, just like most fat tire bikes. I love the punched out rims. We got the Presta valve here. Just gonna lose a lot of air. Take it down to five and see what happens. Okay, you can see that I'm squeezing it with my hands. I think that's good. That's sort of how I, I just sort of eyeball it. And Bosch is a little bit zippy. So, you know, if, you, if you're in that highest level, like turbo assist, you can kind of spin the tire a little bit more. Like you're just not getting the same traction because it's so, powerful you know it's just it's zippy yeah I think we're good let's try this again oh yeah so much better you can see just how quickly that front chain ring responds to when I start and stop pedaling and this is kind of unheard of like riding on a beach with all these footprints in it and I'm not having too much trouble you know I'm not not having to oversteer or anything Maybe I can get on down to the beach. Oh, this is the real stuff right here. Let's take it all up to turbo. Oh, that was in like tour. Oh yeah. This is where it's really fun. Uh -huh. Look at that, 13, 14 miles per hour. Right across the beach. This is like your worst case scenario, super soft. And we did it. We didn't fall off, we made it. That's awesome. Sweet. It worked, man, that's awesome. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna hop on the Monster E. It's the hardtail, love that it has the racks, but I have bumped my, kind of my inner leg a little bit a couple times on those screws. I might take them out if I wasn't using them, but you know, it's nice to have the option of a rack. Let's go. Check out this nice eucalyptus. Fernando's on the new full suspension version. Okay. the 
shift up, shift assist going on. You get that arrow occasionally. That's kind of cool. So see if I'm down in a gear where I'm spinning really fast. It sort of suggests shift up. In the Palos Verdes area of uh, Southern California, right outside LA. This is the LA that is awesome to visit. It's so beautiful here. Cool. Got the sunset going on, clouds rolling in. How you doing, buddy? Looking good. We're just. Yeah, it looks like the disc brake sounds like it's. Uh, maybe it warped a little bit. We were going fast, you know, braking. It's like a beautiful homes tour around here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, let me do that one. Yeah, let's switch off. Yeah. So I'm gonna switch to the Monster FS now. I'm gonna go ahead and reset that max speed now and see how fast we can get going. Just coasting down this hill. You ready? You gotta keep an eye out for cars. That's the nice thing about the paint job on this one. It's pretty visible. We're up to 24 already. Speed limit's 35. We're at 30. Thirty-two, not bad. Oh, 34, max speed, woohoo! We almost hit that speed limit. <laughs> cool. Stop sign. As always, aren't fun unless you have assist. Boost your... go unlock the suspension improving the comfort a little bit so I think that's about it we spent a bunch of time out here on the beach and thankfully just you know had had an open section here took it down by the water awesome bike um, I don't think there's much more to say about it. Really scrutinized it. I've got all the rest of the details, measurements, and the different sizes and stuff back at the website. So let's see you back at electricbikereview.com. You can chime in with some comments. Maybe you have this bike, or maybe you have a Yamaha powered one, or you have one that you've made with a kit or something. You know, it's all good. I'd love to hear your feedback. Um, I love how integrated this is. All the cables are run through. It's, it's actually pretty stealthy, and the graphics look nice. So I've got to hand it to Bulls. I think they've, they've done something special with this one. Um, yeah, as always, ride safe, have fun. I'm in beautiful Redondo Beach, California. Uh, checking out a couple of awesome bulls bikes, okay? I've already done some work over here on the Monster ES, S standing for suspension. It's a hardtail and it's electric. This one over here, I mean, this thing is crazy. It's the EFS because it has full suspension. There's not like a whole lot of difference from there. You know, we still got an awesome RockShox Bluto. Of course, we got the 15 millimeter through axle, the big tires, love these Schwabi jumbo gyms 26 by 4 um, was doing some riding and of course it says 5 to 30 psi so lower when you're on the sand or snow that kind of thing remote lockout on this and we were going down on the on the concrete to get here like cruising all the way from up in those hills it worked great on the street awesome hydraulic disc brakes we've got the maguras here and in the front we've got four pistons in the back we've got two pistons also quick release though 
with a 12 millimeter through axle. So both of these are really stiff. They feel great. Even at speed, this bike felt comfortable. You know, it was, it was kind of like riding a little moped or motorcycle or something like that. So love that. And I'm just a huge fan of the suspension. Of course, it does weigh more. You're getting into that like 60 pound range. The bike comes in a number of sizes, which is pretty cool. So you can find one that fits you, but I love the sloping top tube. I love the adjustability. Back here, we've got the RockShox Monarch looks awesome and just the color on this when we were riding on the street i was like i, I kind of want to be on that one i mean you feel a little bit safer because it's like a bumblebee pattern or maybe a wasp or something and i love that the rock shocks match it and just the whole thing really tight really clean um, up here sully royale m1 saddle and then the drivetrain we're looking at a single sprocket up front 15 teeth and then back here i think it's 11 to 40 